Hey, welcome to How To Infuse. Today we're going to take a look at how to change out uh, the headlight. We have one headlight out on this uh, Chevy Traverse. A lot of other vehicles are going to be similar. One difference about what we're doing today is that we're going to go ahead and upgrade these with some LED kits. I got these on Amazon and what they do is replace the original style bulb with an LED it's a little fan on the back to cool it it has the stock plug should be pretty straightforward and easy to do <laughs> I'm saying should be and uh, these should produce a really uh, bright white light you know those cars that you don't uh, <laughs> that you hate when they come up behind you or in front of you yeah well payback right Okay, so there's two different bulbs on here, one for the high beam, one for the low. Hopefully we got sent the right ones. I'm going to go ahead and dig in there and see. And if we're lucky, they'll be pretty easy to get to, and I won't have to remove any of the housing. On some other vehicles, you have to take the entire housing off to do this, but like I said, if we get lucky, we'll just replace them real quick, and we should be good to go. All right, first thing we're going to do is pop the hood. And then remove this cover that's in place. All right, once we get all the clips out, this should just lift away. Oh. Hopefully giving us access and uh, doesn't look good. All right, so it's literally a week later uh, since I started the intro on this job. After uh, I found out that we were not going to be able to access the lights from the top, um, rather we'd have to come around the bottom here inside the wheel well, and there's a plastic shroud that runs all the way down and across part of the front and supposedly if we loosen up that and drop the shroud a little bit we will gain access to the headlights from underneath the car now, i went ahead and jacked up the car and moved the wheel a little bit uh to this direction hopefully uh, i'm going to avoid taking the wheel off uh, but that's still possibly uh going to be in the mix today we'll see okay so i'm going to get down here after i put my safety jack to support the vehicle and start undoing some of the screws and there's also some of those trim clips like we had on the top shroud uh, to remove and then if everything goes well within a couple minutes we'll be able to see the back of this headlight assembly and reach in from the bottom undo the caps remove each light put in our led replacements and we should be good to go all right so far i have two screws moved on the bottom removed and That makes the third one. This one didn't seem like it was very connected. All right, so I can already see in there. I just need to make myself a little bit more room so that I can reach in. And it looks like the rest are gonna be those body uh, trim clips. All right, after remover about four clips, I was able to pull that panel pretty far back. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, remove the camera. Give you a look-see. So up here, we can see the two light housings. I guess I should reach in there and try to take that out. Or at least unscrew it. All right. So inside of that, I'm gonna get the camera in there, is one of the first bulbs. And next to it, kind of hard to see, is another one of these caps. 
Uh, we're gonna do them one at a time so there's no confusion. All right, so unfortunately for this next part, <laughs> the most important part, right? Uh, there's not gonna be uh, that, no easy way to get the camera in there so you can see it. So I'm just gonna uh, go ahead and say now that the plan is, I'm gonna reach in there, there should be a retaining ring around the old light bulb. Then I'm gonna jiggle that bulb back and forth to remove it from the housing. And then lastly, uh, when it comes out, I should be able to remove the plug receptacle and then bring that bulb out. And then I'll do the opposite and insert the new LED bulb cool thing with that is that I don't have to be as careful if you're doing if you're replacing with regular halogen bulbs you need to be very careful not to touch the bulb a little bit of grease from your fingers uh, can heat up and cause that bulb to crack uh, either instantly when you first use it or uh, within a matter of days so make sure you don't touch the bulb all right let's see what we can get out of there First bulb removed, this one's actually still good. There was no retaining. Oh, this is the low beam, so this is the one that's presumably bad. Filament looks a little bit discolored, but I can't see a breakage in it. All right, let's check out our new one. So here's our replacement, it looks considerably different. Uh, the plug hooks up that should be a little bit easier I'm a little worried about having enough clearance and now I'm gonna look and see what the pattern is all right so it seems to be that I have to put it in sideways and turn In any event, it looks like it will only fit one way. <clears throat> that was easier than expected. Slid in very nicely. It's interesting that the there is a directional component to the plug on the old bulb but not on the new but let's see tip all right so I'm going to use this outside tip to the divider on the inside as a guide and look for that on my new plug which it is present on both sides even. <laughs> Alright. So I'm having some issues dealing with one hand. Alright, my connection's made. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, fire this up before I close that. See how it goes. Whew. All right, just blinded myself looking in there. This is a pretty great <laughs> comparison between the LED and the uh, the standard bulb. Look how yellow the original one. So we're getting 
major improvement. I don't want to go any lower because like I said, I definitely blinded myself looking into uh, that LED light. It's much brighter than I expected. Can't wait to change the other one. Alright, I apologize. There's not much to see here. I'm now going to push the plug down in and return this cap. Maybe. Alright, moving to the more difficult high beam. Let's see how that goes. This is a 9005 ball. This one's actually still good. All right, here's our result with the second one in. Interesting tidbit. Uh, the <laughs> while those plugs can go on either way, the lens, the light will only work if it's on correctly. So if you're doing this with an LED kit and the bulb's not coming on, uh, be sure to reverse it, the plug, and uh, see if <laughs> if it comes on because that just happened. All right, waterproof caps are back on. Uh, secret to that is to line them up and push them all the way on before you attempt to turn them. And now we can put our clips and screws back in. And that will complete this side. All right, here's a look at those body clips. Now, they may have come apart when you pull them out. This is the spreader and this is the actual part that holds. You want to put those back together. Uh, they should only fit one way. Now don't push that all the way in because once you put this in the connection hole then you're going to push this uh, pin in which will secure it in place. And you can actually do that by hand most of the time. All right, all that's left are the four screws that hold the rest of the panel on. Everything else looks good.
Alright, so we finished replacing it on the other side. It was exactly like the first side. Um, I will say that job was a little more labor intensive than what I had planned on. In particular, the weatherproof caps that go on the back of the headlight housing. They have a seal. They're meant to keep uh, presumably water from rain uh, and humidity out. Uh, those things were a pain to get on and you have to get them on with the little uh, teeth lining up correctly before you turn. Uh, you'll be tempted to turn it and try to screw it on before that, but it has to be all the way on flush. That's the hardest part. One of the little tips is smaller than the other two. So if you can line that one up or maybe play, pay uh, close attention to when you're taking it off. So if you pay attention to when you're taking them off, you might find an easier way to keep track or maybe mark them. It's kind of a tight area to work in. But other than that, it was straightforward. Uh, we have our nice LED lights. Uh, pretty bright, can't wait to try them out at night. Uh, I had uh, wanted to polish up these lenses a little bit, but at minimum, I'm gonna take a break. Uh, give me a cold beverage. Uh, I might come back out to do that, or it might just have to wait for another video. Uh, hopefully that helped you out. Uh, it's the same kind of process on the rest of the Lambda Body General Motor products, unless you have the projection lights that uh, come with, I think, some of the Acadias, and I'm sure in some of the Buicks, which are kind of an upscale uh, headlight system. But we've got an upscale headlight system added to this. We've upgraded them to LEDs. They're supposed to last a long time, and let's hope that that's uh, what happens. And we'll try them out tonight to see how the spread is, because they might have a slightly different spread from the regular bulbs. But according to the literature, uh, these are supposed to be top-of-line LEDs. Pay a little more than some of the cheaper ones, because I wanted to make sure, hopefully, uh, that they spread correctly across the road and give us a, a nice illumination. Hopefully without irritating the oncoming cars the way uh, we get irritated sometimes when a truck or something comes with these style headlights. All right, thumbs up, like, share the video. That goes a long way towards uh, helping YouTubers out like me. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.